Hello everyone, Pally Time here. Welcome back to Heroes of the Storm. The PTR just went live, so we get to play the newest character added to the roster. And no, it is not Thrall the Weakness Duratan. It is Sergeant Morales? Is that her name? No. Lieutenant? Okay, she's on the list somewhere. She has to be... There she is. Lieutenant Morales, that's what it is. She is a medic from the StarCraft universe. If you've never seen this first impression video thing that I do, we're just going to hop into the try area. We're going to give her a go, and I'm going to give you my impressions of the character and what I think a build uh, might be uh, if you want to take my advice and jump into Quick Match. So let's give it a go. Oh, you know what? I actually think I read that they increased the size. They did. They increased the size of the, the try match area. You can, like, go down here and do stuff now, too. Oh, there's so many different options, and they're over here, which is weird. Did they bring back the cheat code? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so her auto attack range isn't too bad. Her projectile is kind of cool. Her Q ability is healing beam. I don't want minions. Go away. Her Q ability is healing beam. Heal an ally for 40 health a second as long as they are in range. Reactivate to switch targets or activate your trait to cancel. What is our trait? It regenerates 3% of your maximum health every second after not taking damage for 4 seconds. So she has the Muradin trait, which is a little weird. Uh, you cannot heal yourself with your Q. Okay, so if we wanted to do any healing at all, it has to be on our Furion here. And it's going to attach like that. And then we have a Sergeant Hammer radius that we have to keep Furion in. Uh, in order to continue to heal him. And then we can cancel the heal by reactivating our trait. Just relax. Okay, so let's see how strong the healing from this actually is. Alright. So like I said, it's just like Muradin's trait. But do we have to be out of combat or after we don't take damage? After not taking damage. So it's 22 health to tick. It's not bad. Uh, let's see here. W ability, safeguard, grant your target ally resistance, uh, reducing damage taken by 25% for, uh, three seconds. We can cast this on ourselves. So essentially it's like an ignore pain from priests. And then it actually tells you how much damage was prevented. So that's kind of cool. Uh, your E ability is displacement grenade, fire grenade that explodes on the first enemy hit, dealing 80 damage and knocking enemies away. <sighs> That is pretty cool. So we need to see some stuff in regards to this. Uh, short cooldown mode enabled. Oh, is this the cheat code? Is this Han shot? This is Han shot first. So in the early version of the game, there used to be a cheat code that you could do in uh, <laughs> in try match, and they brought it back. So what I wanted to see is, does it matter? Uh, let's say if Arthas walks in the way of our grenade, will it hit him anyway? Yes. Okay. So it doesn't matter really where you really try to place this. As long as they walk in it, it's fine. Which I guess makes sense because it's a straight line skill shot and not, a, not, a, not an area skill shot. Okay. So let's take a look at the talents. Uh, we have prolonged safeguard. Increases safeguard duration by one second. Uh, so make sure W ability lasts four seconds instead of three. Trauma trigger. Safeguard automatically activates on low health. Uh, you gain an untalent, untalented safeguard automatically if you take damage while below 50% health. And it has a 20 second cooldown. That seems incredibly strong. Does it use the cooldown though? That is worth, that is worth uh, checking out. So once we drop below 50%, we should just get a shield that absorbs damage. There we go. And it does not use the cooldown. So we could cast it again. That's pretty strong. Uh, so far, you know, from what we've seen, definitely the strongest talent. Uh, feedback loop. When safeguard expires, you get mana refunded. I always have a really hard time testing actual uh, mana stuff in here because, number one, you're not really casting your abilities in a way that you would be in quick match. And number two, uh, Furion over here likes to give you... Furion? <laughs> he likes to give you all of your mana back when he is actually real. Uh, looks like we could just set our level now. So I'm just going to bring us up to 20. We can look at all the talents. Uh, Trauma Trigger seems like it's the strongest at level 1. And keep in mind that you can't heal yourself with your Q ability. All of the healing that you're going to receive is from your trait. 
which is interesting. Definitely interesting. Um, the other talent scouting drone is pretty generic. Just reveals the area where you drop a drone. Okay, so let's set our level to 20. Uh, then we have... No, oh, that's not what I wanted. Fuck. Reset talents. Do we reset our talents and keep our level? Oh, try mode is so much better now. Okay. Automatically activates at low health. That's what we want. Uh, bio shield, grant shield, uh, grant shield at full health. If your target is at full health, they gain a shield that absorbs 170 damage, stacking up to five times. Holy shit. That's from our Q ability, though, so we can't really test that much unless we toggle in our ally, our bot Furion. So this shield should stack five times on bot Furion. Uh, there doesn't seem to be... It doesn't seem like it's doing that. Okay, well... Oh, it's because I didn't pick up the tail. <laughs> oh, okay. Here you go, Furion. Come here. Oh, yeah, that's a hefty shield. That's a that's a pretty decent shield. And it, that stacked incredibly quickly. Okay, let's turn it off. Oh, it instantly goes away if we switch our target. Eh, yeah, that could be good. It could be terrible. Kind of hard to tell under these testing settings. Okay, so we want that. Then we have advanced block period periodically reduces the damage received from hero basic attacks by 50%, stores up to three charges. This is better than default block because default block only has two charges. Upgraded ballistics. Displacement grenade travels 50% faster and enemies... Directly impacted, take 33% more damage. I don't see that being too useful, although this does 460 damage at level 20, uh, which is a lot. That's a lot of damage for his support. Uh, I don't see that being too useful, though. Um, Displacement Grenade has a 12-second cooldown. Unless we can lower the cooldown as we carry forward, it doesn't seem too good. Uh, Infuse Grenade. Displacement Grenade... Mana cost is refunded if you hit an enemy hero. So, again, we don't really know how mana-hungry she is based off of the testing we've done so far. Um, I would have to say, because you cannot heal yourself, Advanced Block does seem pretty good at that level. Does seem very good at that level. Clear! This is your level 7 talents. Clear, increased area, bigger knockback, uh, which increases the knockback of your E ability. Irradiate. Uh, enemies near your healing beam target take 50 damage a second. That's pretty cool. Let's bring in Furion again. Let's try that one out. Then we have Mule and Cleanse, um, which is, you know, pretty general talent. So let's try out this Irradiate. Obviously, I'm going for a support build here. So, God, Furion, will you come here? So our auto attack is doing 192. We'll just, uh, we'll toggle in all kinds of things. We need to see... Wow, this isn't costing me any mana. My healing beam costs no mana. What? Furion, can you come here, please? Oh, we can heal this minion. And then look at that. 25 damage a second to everything around the minion. For free. For free. This is actually going to be a great way of pushing lanes. That's going to be a phenomenal way of pushing lanes. How tanky can we make these motherfuckers? Like, how how long can we keep this archer alive? We probably could have ignored pain on him, or whatever our W is called. That's interesting. That's very interesting. I like this town a lot. It's like a burning rage that you decide where it goes. Imagine if you have an Illidan or a Butcher on your team, and you have them just charging in, and then all of a sudden you are... Let's do ignore pain. Of course it put it on Fury, and that makes sense with target priority. I really like that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, Stim Drone grants a massive attack and movement speed increase. Granted, allies have a 75% attack speed and 25% movement speed increase for 10 seconds. Uh, just a point of reference, mount speed is 40%. So you're not quite moving mount speed, but it's definitely a pretty big increase. I can't get over the fact that I'm healing Furion for this much without spending any mana at all. What? No wonder you can't cast this on yourself. You would never die to anything. You would never die to anything. I also really like the particle effects from this. I, I just think this looks great. 
That really looks great. So let's give Fury a stim drone, because this will be funny. Here you go, buddy. That's a really cool effect. The sound effect is nice, too. And you get a nice visual representation. <laughs> Look at him firing that little fucking auto attack off. What are you doing, Furion? Here we go again. Here we go. Look at him go. <laughs> so, obviously, once again, this is going to pair really well with someone like the Butcher. It's essentially a targeted bloodlust, if you think about it. <laughs> he's just gonna he's just gonna fire this off like crazy. It does have a 90 second cooldown. So you are gonna have to use it at the right times. Uh, but definitely interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and reset talents. Uh, block. Then we went for healing beam grants damage aura. And then let's try the medevac dropship. This was the one I was most interested in. So the medevac dropship allows us to set a destination that we want to travel to which I'm going to pick our spawn. Then we turn into a medivac. Our friends can either choose to get in or just get in. And then we lift off with our E ability, it looks like. Oh, that is so cool! I'm going to lower my cooldowns on this. Oh, that is so fucking dope. So, let's say... <laughs> let's say we're pushing in game. Everyone just respawns in our base. And we want to make a heavy... No, I don't want to put it there. And we want to make a heavy push for the enemy team's core. What's up? Here we go. Medivac coming out. Furion's going to come back. He's going to right-click on this. Get in the Medivac. And then we are going to kill the enemy team's core. Furion and myself. The dream team. Furion's leaving me. Furion? Fur Furion? That's fine. We can just fucking get out of here. It looks like the Medivac has its own health bar. So it is possible for the enemy team to focus this bad boy down. Uh, but once it starts moving, it looks like uh, it's going to be pretty hard to stop. And again, just something I want to bring your attention to. With the Medivac, uh, you do have about a three-second timer before you can take off. And another thing I want to draw your attention to, you do have to tank off. You can't just sit here. You have to take off within 10 seconds. It's going to depart whether or not I press anything or not. I love the UI for this. This, this looks great. This looks really good. Uh, I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with both of her heroics. Obviously, they're both situational. Uh, but the movement seems incredibly powerful. When Zagara was added to the game, I could not help but think that the Nidus Worm should be able to be used by her allies as well. And finally, we have something that allows our teammates to move across the map with us. It's important to note, though, that as a team member, you have to decide whether or not you want to take the medivac. So I just can't troll you from what it seems like. I can't just come by, pick you up, and then bring you with me. You have to decide, hey, I would like to jump in here. I love that. That is a great ability. That That is going to be amazing. I cannot wait to see some cool plays with that. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the level 13 talents. Once again, we have spell shield. Kind of goes along with block and... Uh, this is just a normal spell shield. This is not advanced in any way. We have intensive care. Wind healing beam is on a single target for over three seconds. Its healing amount increases by 25% and the mana cost increase. The mana cost increases by four. Okay. So this does have a mana cost. See what I'm saying? It's so hard to test this shit in here. So this has a 15 mana cost per second and we have 690 mana. Why it wasn't draining my mana before, I have no idea. Look, it's not its not touching my mana at all. That has to be a bug. Yeah, that has to be a bug. So this does have a... Oh, it doesn't show you the mana cost when you're actually healing. Only when you're sitting, sitting still ready to heal. So that has to be a bug. Uh, I don't know if it's only affecting tri-mode or what. Uh, but yes, this does have a channeling... And it is 15 mana per second. Or we could increase that mana uh, required, but also increase our healing. It is worth mentioning that we do not have... Uh, we do have some ways of getting mana back. So maybe that does make the mana talents a little bit more valid. Like I said, we're just trying things out. We're seeing how it works. And uh, so far... Yeah, it didn't look like we were having any mana issues, but it doesn't seem like this is draining mana properly. But hey, that's what the PTR is for, right? Okay, so that's a thing that just increases our healing. Uh, healing Beam also heals you. While channeling Healing Beam, you are healed for 25% of the healing amount 
but you have to pay an additional four mana per second. Uh, that seems good. That seems very good. Basic attacks against your healing beam target reduce the attacker's speed by 25%. So this is like that... Um, Oh, I can never remember the name of this ability when I'm trying to. There's level 16 talent for most tanks that slows down auto attack speed against them. Uh, I swear to God, I can never remember the name of this ability when I'm trying to. This looks like one that you can place on a target, which is cool. Um, by far, though, I would have to say the best talent here is healing yourself as well. I think most of us can agree on that. Even if you do have to spend a little bit more mana, which is... Oh, now we are spending a little bit of mana. Look at that. Not really. It's going right back up. Maybe it doesn't cost mana when Furion is at full HP. Maybe it only costs mana when he's actually taking damage. We should be able to test that here. I could just toggle these minions. Come back. No, come back. Stand in that. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the case. I don't know. That's real weird. Okay, increases safeguard initial damage reduction by 50% for the first 1.5 seconds. Does not seem that good. Uh, after casting safeguard, you can cast it a second time within 3 seconds for no cost. That seems great. That seems like the way to go. Displacement grenade slows enemies by 50% for 4 seconds. That's a very long slow and a very significant slow. Kind of reminds me of what um people used to do with brightwing where you would spec for slow on her q ability but keep in mind you're also going to be knocking people back with this so it does get a little messy with that but this system shock does not seem bad second option reduces the displacement grenades cooldown by two seconds and it now holds a second charge uh if you're growing damage build i guess that would be what you do but we're building for healer right now so shield sequencer we can hit w and then when this fades, we can hit W again. Look, we took no damage there. And once again, we also had uh, we also had Fury and healing us. So we're doing our best to come up with something. Medivac heals nearby allies and everyone aboard for 310 health per second. So it's kind of like a get out of jail free card. And you also uh, get to heal everyone along with you as well. Situational, again. Uh, restores mana and grant shields. While the Kildalis reactor is active, you restore 8 mana a second and gain a shield that absorbs 218 damage, stacking up to 5 times. This is your passive ability. So with this, you basically get a ton of mana regen when you're out of combat. So kind of think of it like the Feral Heart from Rhaegar. When you're walking around in your dog form on Rhaegar, you're going to be restoring a ton of health, or a ton of mana. This one... Uh, instead of giving you health regen, gives you a shield as well. And you can see how hefty that shield is. And all you have to do is be out of combat for four seconds in order to get this starting. That seems very, very powerful. The trade-off, though, is that you wouldn't get Storm Shield, which is a great defensive ability for your entire team. And considering you can only heal basically one target at a time, uh, Storm Shield does seem uh, to be pretty powerful on her. Also, keep in mind that this shield continues to last as we go into combat. So, uh, the Caduceus, is that how you say it? Caduceus Reactor 2.0 might be the way to go. I'm also assuming we can reduce the damage we take to make this shield last even longer, maybe? Right away. Definitely an interesting ability. What the fuck, Arthas? That hurt. Uh, first impressions, incredibly interesting support character. Incredibly interesting. I just love this. I love everything about this. This is just a great UI. A great HUD. I like the little Terran artifact. It looks like a fucking gnome. That's just good. Uh, our Q ability seems very interesting, although it's, it's very hard to test in this setting. This is something we would need to bring into Quick Match in order to get it going properly, for sure. Um... Definitely interesting that it's only on a single target at a time, so it may be difficult for Lieutenant Morales to be a solo support. Uh, but when she does focus all of her healing on one target, it's going to be a ton of healing. Look at this. Every time... I guess I'm healing myself now, too, because of our talent. So every time either of us takes just a tiniest little bit of damage, it's going to be a very significant heal. And remember, we're specking to deal damage around our heal target, too. Which is cool as fuck. I love that. I love that. Come come up, Fury. Let's go get him. Let's go get him, Fury. Fury, get in here! 
We're on a mission! Yes! Alright, we're gonna flank him. He's never gonna see it coming. Get the fuck in there. It looks like our shield becomes active. Our upgraded passive still becomes active uh, when we're not. Wow. Our trait still happens when we're in the medivac. So, uh, that's interesting too. Very interesting character. I actually like this build. Uh, I think I justified all of my my picks pretty well. Uh, maybe changing block for uh, this bio shield here. That stacks up to five times. It's not a bad shield. So let's reset our talents and we'll try that. Uh, safeguard automatically activates at low health. Yes. We want free abilities whenever we can get them. Then shields grant at... Uh, when your target's at full health. Maybe situational, maybe not. Uh, radiate area damage on your heal. Let's go with this. It's a movement speed increase. Healing beam also heals you. This is what I wanted to test. When you're healing someone and they get a shield, do you also get a shield if you're healing yourself? And the answer to that is no. So maybe getting advanced block at this level would be good still. Uh, keep in mind, you have to get to level 13 before you can heal yourself with your Q as well. And that's a very long time to wait. Uh, so block may be the way to go still. Uh, let's go ahead and reset. So trauma trigger, advanced block, irradiate. Then this is totally situational, I think. I really do like the medivac, though. That's awesome. Uh, healing beam also heals you. Safeguard can be cast twice. Well, this is very easy. You can pick every single one of these while being talented. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, safeguard can be cast twice. So, keep in mind, that means we can get three safeguards whenever we want to. Let's bring these buildings back. Uh, refresh forts. So, here's our first safeguard that we're casting. Here's our second free safeguard that we're casting. And as these continue to hit us, here is a free safeguard that we get from our talents. And then, what you know, we can cast another safeguard here in just a moment. If, if Furion doesn't just heal us all the way. And then yet another one. The cooldown on the free safeguard is 20 seconds. And there's nowhere on the UI to show you that as far as I can tell. Hold on. Maybe that was it. Let's see. What is this stuff going down here? You can use a healing fountain. Interesting. Let me take damage for you. Go away. What is this down here? Is this our debuffs now? Is this new UI stuff? Yeah, that was the free safeguard, and then trauma trigger cooldown. Trauma trigger has been activated recently and must recharge, and then it has a little bar down there. Okay, so there is UI representation for that. Cool. And then at level 20, uh, Caduceus Reactor 2.0, or Storm Shield. Honestly, all of these are good. I'd say Med Bay is the most situational, and first impressions, Caduceus Reactor seems like it's the better one. Because you're going to be able to get out of combat really easy. And I'm getting a thousand shields here, basically. It's 218 stacking five times. That's a thousand more health almost. And considering the only way we can heal, our, heal ourselves is when we're healing someone else with the level 13 talent. Or when we're out of combat, uh, Caduceus Reactor 2.0 seems like the way to go for me. So this is the build I would recommend. It took us a while to get here. I know not everyone loves these kind of videos, but the people who do... Uh, I appreciate your viewership. I hope you enjoyed uh, a trip down the Pally Time Theory crafting lane yet again. Uh, this character is definitely very interesting. Very different from all the other supports we've seen in the game. And I cannot wait to jump into some quick match with her and try her out. This medivac is just so cool. It's just so damn cool. Alright, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you all with some more Lieutenant Morales gameplay very soon. Okay, bye.